previously on Onboard Lifestyle. We covered the first three legs of our journey down the Baja Peninsula. Even though the winds were light for the 316 nautical miles we traveled, the fishing was amazing. And so were the meals. We celebrate a belated birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> the prop gets fouled on our port side. We hit seaweed. A big patch of seaweed is on it. That's it? That's it. The crew enjoys a nice sail down the inside of Isla Cedros, and we anchor south of Cedros Village. My dad jumps into the emerald green water to clear the sail drives before we enjoy a quiet night in a beautiful place. There is something about the sunshine and warm weather that gets us all in a good mood. I think this is the first official morning where we wake up and we're not turning on the heater. Yeah, so, it's so nice. Big, that's a big score for us. Anyway, so Teal's hauling up our anchor and then we're gonna head out. Hopefully there is a light breeze. We felt it already, you can see it out there from the north, so that'll be This is so good. Sailing between uh, Cedros and Tortuga, we always catch a fish. Got another one. Whoa, come on, he's passing us. I hope it's a mahi whoa, mahi. Whoa, whoa. I'm seeing big flashes. I don't know what it is. This is awesome. Looks like another bonita. Is it? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna gaff it. Hold it. Man, we need better poles. This is a challenge this way. Enter Turtle Bay and Turtle uh, Bay in Espanol, por favor. Bahia Tortuga. We're going in. <laughs> lobster pot ahead. And Emma and I are on lobster pot watch. There are a ton of them around that's here. It, it, we uh, had to drop the sails and kick on the motor, the engine, uh, because there's no more wind. We're creating our own right now, but that's okay. It was a great sail uh, from Cedros Island or Isla Cedros. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun here. This is Emma's first time, but Teal and I have been here before, but it's just the temperatures, you guys, it is just so nice. It makes everything so much more enjoyable. And I think that Emma's probably gonna jump, jump off the, the boat. <laughs>
Well, this looks nice out here. Doesn't it? I'm Look. so excited. Fish every night. <laughs> I gotta change it up. This is fish cakes. Change it. This looks delicious. <laughs> and you're in your jammies. It's comfortable. <laughs> We're doing dinner and a movie out here in the cockpit. Yep. Are you excited? I'm very excited. It's gonna be delicious. What's not to be excited about? She loves food. And tartar <laughs> sauce. Yeah. This is the perfect food. It's all the vegetables are in the cakes already. <laughs> well, <laughs> sit down, let's eat. I'm starving. This looks awesome. Hey, wait a minute. That's not my wine. This is my wine. <laughs> You're not going to get much talking out of me. It's delicious. You guys, the sunset is so beautiful. It looks purple, blue, and pink. It's awesome. There's my family. Gorgeous. Gluttons. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it makes me so happy though. I will. Okay, what movie are we watching? Oh, that smells good. <laughs> You've caught so much fish, my freezer is full. So, we're having fish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I thought I'd try a curry recipe. That's really good. Is that? Do I get that for lunch? Mm -hmm. Okay, my project first though is fill a couple jerry cans. We are kind of at a milestone. We're in a Turtle Bay here. This is halfway down the Baja Peninsula, 410 miles from San Diego. It's the last fuel we get until. Cabo San Lucas, which is another 420 miles. So this is it. We'll fill up everything we have. Don't know if we need it yet, but just in case, there's no other place to get it. So we're gonna fill every jerry can. You can see right now, Ponga's coming out. That's Enrique's. Uh, he operates off the, the fuel dock here. They actually run the fuel out to you. So I've set up a couple fenders here. And we'll top off our our jerry can. Oh, uh, you forgot the fenders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is broke in now what a month and a month later let's see if this thing claims with all of us this town this has changed a lot since the last time teal and i were here they actually have a, a paved road paved roads <laughs> a oh, lot more road well we don't know that i think there's more there but uh it also has a lot more people here this is becoming quite the little uh town it used to be just like a fishing village right yeah i'm not sure but boy it's kind of cool though isn't it yeah uh um pequeño Habla inglés? Yes. No, <laughs> now this is what I call Amigo. Amigo. This is this is Hola. what I call a uh, traffic jam right here. Yeah. <laughs>
Looks like Teal has a little entourage. All the local dogs are following him. They're my people. <laughs> They're your people. They know good people when they see them. Our mission to find internet or Wi-Fi is still coming along. Haven't found it yet. Teal and Emma are a little overheated, so they uh, took a break and found a coffee or a, an ice cream shop. So uh, they'll meet me here. But I just came across this church, and it's so cool. It has a great view, and it's pretty big for the size of this town. Still have uh, a few of the town dogs just hanging out. But they're pretty smart. They know as soon as uh, we stop, they go and find shade. What is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no idea how flavor this is. But... Yeah, it's I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it melt a little. <laughs> so we learned our lesson. What's that? Dingy wheels. Well, we know that. <laughs> learned our lesson. It's a good workout. But yes, they're in our future. As soon as we find them. Hard to find down here. Emma's a little overheated. I might go swimming. <laughs> like we struck out finding internet. We did find something, it was very, very faint. I think it was like a bar um, in a restaurant and it just wouldn't let us uh, get on uh, online. So we are heading out first thing tomorrow morning and heading to Ascension. And uh, Emma and I are on the hunt for some fresh veggies. Yeah. It's always fun going to these little markets because you never know what they're going to have. Well, I think that our uh, little uh, walk around town is enough. We're going to head back and just uh, get ready for uh, tomorrow's passage. We got a early jump on today. We wanted to leave right at daybreak because of all the pots that are uh, near shore here. I'm looking at a few right now. Lynn's at the helm, uh, leaving uh, Bahia Tortuga. It's really light winds. It's supposed to be having 10 to 15, once we get about five, six miles offshore. The coastline dips away from us, so we should uh, reach that pretty quick. We want to get those sails up. You know, we have uh, 400 and some odd miles to go to Cabo. We don't want to use much fuel. Keeping my eyes peeled for these pots. Beautiful out here. Nice and flat. Should be a good day. Let's look for those winds. Okay, we're coming up on Isla Asuncion. We have to round this wide. There's some exposed rocks and reefs on the, the south side. Then it's three and a half miles back up into the bay. And that's where we're anchoring uh, tonight. 
We uh, asked for wind, and boy, did we get it. Not bad, but just a nice, steady northwest breeze. We've been uh, just going wing and wing here for the past three, four hours. Averaging in the high sixes, low sevens, tapping into the eights plus. So it's just been perfect conditions. It's been a nice run. And uh, we made it here about an hour earlier than I thought. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onward Lifestyle. If you liked our video, please remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. These videos are made possible by the support of our amazing patrons. Join our crew if you can. We are officially in warmer waters and the sailing and fishing have been awesome. I can't wait to continue our journey down the Baja Peninsula. Come back next week as we sail to Ascension to hunt down some internet. See you then!